Okay, our first game cock of the afternoon, we have wide receiver to carry and joiner, and he will go straight to questions. On your left, on your right, fourth row. Tyler Shaw with, uh, with KBTX and College Station. Um, you know, going back to last year, how big was that for you guys to, you know, get to a bowl game, win it, and how have expectations changed, or how are they heading into year two with Shane Beamer? Yeah, expectations have not changed. Um, I think it's our goal for us to be the most consistent team in the SEC right now. That's our goal. Um, last year was, was a great thing to capitalize off of because we were projected to win two games. Uh, to go on and win seven. Um, in year one under Coach Beamer, I think that says a lot. It's scary to think about what we can do in year two. We're excited. To your left front row. Scribe. Shane Beamer's ability to connect with his players and, and form meaningful relationships that trickle over into what you guys do on the field? Yeah, the first thing I can think of is he's a, he's a player's first coach. Um, a coach that loves us. Uh, we love our head coach to death. Um, the more you love him, the harder you play for him. Uh, we're very grateful to have him as our head coach, and we're looking forward to year two. On your right, second row. David Kloniger, Charleston Post, and Curry. Well, Good to see you, DJ. Yes, sir. Um, just, I th obviously, the quarterback performance in the Dukes Mayo Bowl is what a lot of people focused on in the offseason. Uh, you are the listed as a wide receiver. Just how's that going to go this year? And do you feel like maybe what you can do at receiver is being a little overshadowed by the Yeah, for sure. Um, I think the goal for us is for me to play both positions evenly because I've shown that I can play both at a high, at a high level um, and high quality game. So, but my, my goal is to just go in and be available to every role that I'm asked to be, um, be acceptable to it, and just go perform at a high level. To your left, second row. Did you carry on Joe Machika, Gamecock Central? Oh, um, you've played a number of different roles in the past um, in your time at South Carolina. What do you think your role will be going forward this year? Uh, I don't think that's very predictable because every year it seems to always be something. Um, but th there's really no telling what's you know what's to come. But like I said, I'm very acceptable to it right now, and um, I'm preparing myself to be health healthily prepared to do anything that I want to do um, and to help my team win. To your right, second row. Mike, you have a Gamecock Central to carry on for yes, someone that's a senior here for, you know, the majority of the underclassmen. They don't, ex they don't understand what the expectations are. They're not used to you, everything that you guys have had gone through over the last couple of years. Yeah. Dealing with these high expectations now, how do you guys put last season in the, in the rearview mirror and how do you guys just focus on this year and trying to raise the bar? Yeah, most definitely. Um, I think it's something you have to, you can't really, really dwell on, um, but you, you know, got to think of it. You know, got to remind guys what we are capable of because we're only scheduled to win two games. People didn't expect us to do anything. Um, but, you know, the sky's the limit for us this year, and we just got to continue to older guys lead, uh, be, be the face of this program, and allow young guys to come behind us. Right here, second row. To carry on, Gene Sapica <coughs> from the Charleston Post and Courier. Um, where did you get your suit, and what went into <laughs> you deciding what to wear to SEC uh, Media Day? Oh, for Days? sure. Um, my mom helped me out with this suit. My family did. I wasn't sewed on a peach, but I think I put it on pretty well. Peach suit, tan socks, brown shoes, floor on the inside, go to accessories, man. So, but shout out to Men's Warehouse. For sure. Okay. Front row, on the right. Nick Cox with Lindy Sports and Cox Sports Broadcasting. Yeah. You had the big bowl game and MVP. Do you think that finally proved and solidified yourself? Did that give you a lot of confidence going into this season? Yeah, personally, it, it really did. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think personally I needed. Uh, to something to, you know what I'm saying, kind of just, you know, just top off with. You. But it, it was really good for my confidence, and I'm very grateful for that experience. Um, I thank God for allowing me to have that moment. Back row on the left. Dan Peck, ESPN 106.7 in Auburn. What can you tell us about how Spencer Rattler is fitting in on the field and off uh, at South Carolina? Yeah, a very great guy. Spencer Locker is next to mine, so we share a lot of great stories. I don't think people give him enough credit for the kind of guy he is off the field. Really great guy. A uh, great leader. Um, energy is very contagious. A guy, a guy that you want to be around. But I think everybody in the country knows that he can spin the ball pretty well. And he'll be a great attribute to our team. Um, we're very excited to play with him. On your right, third row. Building off that, when he came over from Oklahoma, and obviously Beamer had his ties to Oklahoma too. Any similarities, offense change at all with, with Spencer in the spring? Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't think so. Uh, Spencer came to our team. so. He just has to adjust well to how we play, um, our style of play and stuff like that. But he's very acceptable to it. He's done a really good job of you know, taking control of the offense, accepting the change, and uh, it seems natural to him. In the middle here, fourth row. Anthony Patterson, the line of voice. You talked about you know, last season, how people predicted you guys to win two games, and then you guys been able to overcome that. Just for you personally, what would you say was the turning point um, for you? Because obviously you're doing 
you know, anything it takes to win. But what do you feel was the turning point for yourself? Um, honestly, personally, I didn't get my turning point until the end of the year, honestly, um, because throughout the year, me personally and for my team, it was a lot of up and downs, win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. We never really had any consistency there. Uh, but to top it off with, you know, the Dukes Mayo Bowl game, it's something to, for us to, um, you know, have a chip on our shoulder about. But we're very excited going into this year, and we're very prepared and more confident than ever. On your right, fourth row. Hey, DK, Cam Gaskins with ABC Columbia. You talked about different expectations for this year. I just wanted to ask through spring and summer, what differences you've seen in this year's team as opposed to this time uh, last year? Yeah, for sure. I think first and foremost, we're, we're more bought in than before. Um, year we're not really expecting what coach is really bringing into, but like I said, we've seen what coach did to us in you know, one year, and it's scary to think about what he can do for us for year two, and we're very excited about it. Um, we're, we're definitely buying into the process, and we love coach, man, and we're excited for, you know, just to take on the challenge this year. Right here, second row. Hey, to carry on. Um, again, like we said, you've been here for quite a long time. Uh, who are some of the new guys that you've seen stepping up um, on the offensive and defensive end? Yeah, the first person I can think of is Juice Wells and Corey Rucker, uh, two guys that are going to help the receiver room tremendously. Um, two, two great, you know, Corey's a younger guy. Juice is a year younger than me, but two guys that has a lot of great attributes. It's going to help us at the wide receiver, having a lot of depth. Um, so we're, I'm very excited to play with those guys. So, you know, play next to them and throw them the ball, too. So, On your right, third row. Alex Jones with the Big Spur. For you, what did you feel like you needed to work on the most in the offseason? Uh, yeah, me personally, uh, I, I, the biggest thing I took myself is uh, to slow my mental down, uh, to be mentally decompressed from everything so I can go inside Saturday with a clear mind. But my goal is to be, you know, consistent this year, be the most reliable and dependable guy for my team and be acceptable to every role that I'm asked to play. Three questions left. We'll start here, then we'll go over here. Go ahead. Todd Summers, WSBA TV. Dakarian, for all that went right for this team down the stretch last year, do you feel like the offense still needs to be better than it was a year ago when you're among the bottom of the league in scoring? Oh, yeah, for sure. I think, I mean, it's room for improvement in every area um, in football. Um, but our goal is to, you know, continue to trust in the coaches, um, buy into the process, uh, just be more clean this year than anything, um, and just go out and execute well. Second row on your right. Dakarian, what does Coach Stepp mean to not just you, but this program? Yeah, Coach Stepp's mean everything to me personally. Um, I'm sure a lot of people can vouch for him as well. Um, he's a guy, he's, he's from here, you know what I'm saying? So it means the world to him uh, to be close to his family, to be here, you know what I'm saying? And one thing I can say about Coach Stepp is he, he gives us all to us every single day. So it's only right for us to give our all to him every single day. So we appreciate him a lot. Okay, our final question right here in the front. Who has had the greatest impact on your life and your faith? My mother, um, hands down. Uh, today is the 13th year that my dad has passed away today, so it's crazy that I'm here and I'm very grateful for this opportunity. But my mom, uh, a strong woman, uh, she means everything to me, man. I get an emotional thing about her because she's been through a lot. Um, and, but she's, she's who I am. She's the reason why I am uh, the man that I am today. Karen, thank you very much. What's that? Good thank job. You. I appreciate it.